And this is Rob2D and the code always wins. And today I have just made a simple application here that actually can launch the arcade one up. I'm in Android Studio, it's an Android application. I've actually managed to simulate an environment at least enough to see what an arcade one up looks like on the phone. And I've actually gotten it to install on phones and everything, but I couldn't get the actual games to play. So I'm in my Android development environment. From here, the application I built, when I want to test that it's going to work on the Arcade 1UP, I'm just going to run what I have here on that emulator. So I have to open it, start up an emulator. So you have this Chinese tablet. Uh, I guess I was just guessing they were made in China. There's nothing against that, you yeah. um, That is the wrong one. Okay. And we just started up another Android emulator now. This is a more modern one. I'm guessing it's like at least Android 10. So you see I have this A1U Go Crazy prototype. This is actually going to launch the Arcade 1UP application. Um, that's actually a system application, so you don't see it in the menu. So my problem is I'm trying to create a launcher, and the launcher actually has to go into the Arcade 1UP. So um, I just kind of had to reverse engineer their installation app on the actual PCB. That was a little bit tough because uh, I had to kind of like decode the thing and then figure out how they start it. So I didn't actually steal their stuff or anything. It's just literally the same thing that runs on my arcade. So obviously I can't distribute that for, for certain reasons. Once I launch my application from the Android debugging tools, you're going to see that there's no Arcade 1UP thing here, but I installed the uh, update installer that they give you, and obviously I can't share that because it's probably not legal, but if I uh, go up now, you'll see that I actually have this Arcade 1UP Go Crazy prototype. and. So it's got a kind of a crappy icon. I, I didn't really optimize this, but let's go check that out. Let's click this and see what happens on this Android emulator. Loading up. Oh, what is that? Is that an arcade one up? Running on this? Is that my arcade? It looks familiar. I hear that music. But there's obviously issues. You can't see the leaderboard. Um. My computer's chugging a little bit because my graphic card isn't running right now. Oh, looks like everything just stopped. That doesn't usually happen, but let's try this again. It doesn't run normally on, on this thing. Let's just let's just start off with that. So when I click this, it's actually gonna just probably log out or fail because it just it's not the same CPU architecture. It has a different network card. There's probably security there. I don't think that my serial number like transferred from the PCB. So you can't do too much with this. But what I could do is verify that that worked because, you know, I plan to kind of like do whatever the hell I can with my skill set. And But in the meantime, stay tuned. I have so much more to share. I have so many exciting things that I'm kind of like doing with this and I don't want to share it all just quite yet. I am still working on that tutorial. I hate editing. Uh, so I started that and then I realized I suck at editing. So I'm just kind of like making sure that it makes sense. Also kind of learned some new things while going through this with this Rev and Blast. And shout out to Blast and shout out to Rev. They were really patient. Especially shout out to Blast today because if you guys see my logo, man, it is, it is awesome. Whatever the hell he's doing. So I apologize again for not quite editing, but you know, putting a little bit more effort into it. I'm, I have to kind of like develop new tools and stuff and then work for a living. So I kind of like this is all I'm, I'm sort of up to recently. But thank you guys for watching again. Stay tuned and I will be showing you a custom launcher for Arcade 1UP on Android very soon. Bye bye.